Welcome everyone back to my channel. If you can see behind me here, you're going to see the house and I'm going to show you what's powering this house. It's not Nova Scotia power. It's not coal. It's solar. Wow. I am going to take you inside shortly, guys. I'm going to show you the utility room, the whole setup. And you're not going to believe in this video, it's off the grid, Nova Scotia power, I don't think so. This is all solar. The name of the unit that I have is Solark. So I'm going to take you inside the utility and show you what's running the homestead. But first, let's take a moment and I'll tell you a little about the solar panels. Come take a walk with me. First of all, I'm going to apologize. There's a lot of numbers in this video, but I need you to understand everything about the solar. Behind me here, there are 16 solar panels. Each of these solar panels are 550 watts each. I'll give you all the numbers once I get inside the house before this video ends. But guys, seriously, the best amount of power I've had coming into the house so far is six kilowatts an hour. That is amazing. You got to admit it. That is truly amazing. So let's take a walk behind this girl. Love her. Love her. Let's check out the ground mount system. I apologize in advance because look right here with the thawing and the freezing of winter and new property. This place is a bit of a mess, very muddy, hence the boots. So let's go behind this amazing system. Truly amazing. Wow. It is quite a setup. I got to say this didn't just take a day or two. This literally took about six days and not just one, per, not just one. There were, well, some days there were two, some days there were three, but check it out. What a beauty, I gotta say, I love the system. And not just, not just that, but it works amazing. Don't need Nova Scotia power. This is all you need, off the grid. This is worth it, hands down. Love this. This system come from the Canadian Solar Store. First of all, guys, I need to make a correction. I've been saying the Canadian solar store they are from canada but they're called the solar power store and they're from ontario i cannot say how amazing this company is it's so highly recommended i give it a 10 out of 10 hands down without question and there was a couple questions believe it or not that i had about the system and instantly they reply and they are super super helpful love that company love the feedback when you have any type of questions they are amazing now it's time to go inside and show you the heart of this system and guys i gotta say oh the puppies are barking and i gotta say after dealing with this company there's no question that's too small no matter what the question was or how many times you called and i didn't call a lot but i there was definitely probably four different times I had to call if they didn't have the answer for me they got back to me and not only that there's live feed you can contact someone immediately can you see it in the background so i gotta say the solar field is about a hundred feet from the house not an issue i gotta say there hasn't been one issue. I think at this point, it's been about a week. This system's been running the house without a glitch since the moment she was connected. Amazing, love this system. And welcome to the heart of the house. Here's the system right here, guys. Now there is a lot of numbers, stay with me. A lot of numbers you need to know, and I don't know everything about it yet, but let me give you a bit of information that I've learned and I know. Let's start with the batteries. So all connected right here 
there's three batteries. They are Pites batteries. They're lithium, hence you can have them into your home. They're not the lead acid batteries that they made back in the day. So these batteries, these three batteries right here are 15 kilowatts. They are five kilowatts each. Now, let me remind you, myself and a neighbor did this all and you clearly can do this yourself. These batteries here, guys, are 100 amp hours each. So because in the bus bar right here, I've paralleled them, I have 300 amp hours in total. So right here with these three batteries, this is a master battery and they all talk to each other. You can see the cords, they're all connected right here. This being the master battery, this communicates, or should I say, talks to the Solar inverter. Let's take a look inside the Solar inverter. Guys, check out the technology there. How amazing is that? And it's just all one unit. Everything talks, the batteries, these three batteries all talk to the inverter and this works like gold. So with the help of the solar power store and a couple neighbors, it looks very complicated, but it's just plug and play. If you know the basics, you can do this. This is how simple it is. This right here is the batteries that I've already shown you. Right here, this right here is the solar field that's outside that you've seen. And this right here brings power to the panel right here and powers the house. It's that simple. This system is rated for residential service. So right here, you can see right here, there's a shut off for the batteries. And right down here, there's shut off on each of the batteries also. There's a shut off right here as well. And let's look behind on the left hand side. There's also a shut off right here on the left side of the inverter. And that's for the solar field. Not only that, outside there's more shut offs. So residential, I think so. I'm gonna close the inverter here and I'm going to show you the top screen which seeing this has only been in a week i look at this every morning not that i need to but i'm interested to see the power that's coming in from the sun outside so right here right now the batteries are charged 99 percent and right now as well there is 0.37 kilowatts coming in, which is pretty low right now, but guys, she's already fully charged. It's about 5 p.m. right now. She's already, and I gotta say one other thing before I move on. Before It literally takes two hours in the morning. If the batteries go down to about 70, 75%, which is on an average, it literally takes two hours in the morning, whether the sun is out or not, it takes about two hours to charge it back to 100%. So there's four different icons on the inverter. The first one right here you can see is how much the solar field is bringing into the batteries. The second one, if you were connected to the grid, it would show how much is going into the grid. We don't want the grid and we're not connected to the grid. So moving forward, the next one is showing how much is going into the house and all that's being used right now is 0.16. The last one will show you how much is coming into the batteries or going out of the battery. So as you can see, we're bringing in more power than what's being used, so it's going into the batteries. So on, in, on any average day, this house, she is really efficient, I gotta say. She's got spray foam, lots of insulation in the attic, in-floor heating throughout the whole house. 
on average, we're using 200 watts an hour in this house, but what we're bringing in in the run of a day on the worst type of day, which will be no sun, cloudy, rainy day, we're bringing in 1000 watts an hour. So on that note, there's always more coming in than what I actually need. How great is that? So this is what the Solar 15 is running in the house. Let me give you a quick tour of this utility room. So right here, we have the pumps, which runs the in-floor heat, and there's four of them. So it runs all four. Right over here is the Navian boiler, which heats the water for the in-floor heating and for the hot water for dishes, showers, all of that. Right here, we have a UV filter for the well that's dug outside. And right here, there is the pressure tank, the HydroPro water systems tank. This is the pressure tank that brings water from the well. All runs on the sun. Bear with me guys, I did this on the GoPro. I picked up a GoPro and I was anxious to do the video. I left the camera that I normally use all the time at home, but I was excited to get this video out for you guys. I'm fingers crossed that it turns out well, but in three more days, there's a Nova Scotia power meeting. Nova Scotia power is coming to the homestead and I don't understand, but they have to have a say, even though we're not connected to the grid. They have to sign off on things. Anybody I talk to is like, why do they have a say? Trust me, that's my question. I don't understand why they need to have a say, but they do, and they will be here in a couple of days. So stay tuned. I'll be letting you know how that goes. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.